Welcome to the weekend. Oh, yeah, 1.40 p.m. We got out of class early today, all the way out on 59 now. Guess where we're going? Headed to the pool. Can't wait. It's nice and hot. 86 degrees right now. Uh, the sun's out. We haven't seen the sun since Monday, so that's nice. Uh, pool stuff's in the trunk. I didn't remember to put that in last night, so I'm going to go over and meet the grandfather, and it um, should be a good time. Well guys, if you saw my tweet, out of all of the classes I'm taking this semester, this is hands down my favorite. It's relaxing, there's no professor, you can come and go as long as you want, there's free tutoring. Uh, I like this kind. It's like 88 and really humid, so I'm going to hang out here for a few hours. Grandpa hasn't showed up yet, he'll be coming in up there soon. And I have no idea what's going on for tonight. On the way home, uh, part of being an M car owner is when you see another M car, you wave to them, right? I mean, that's just like the thing. You own a, a Passat, you see another Passat. Okay, maybe not. But regardless, black E36 M3, uh, at least it looked like an M3 with an M3 bumper, coming uh, south on 91. I stuck my hand out and waved. You should have seen this guy's face. He looked astonished that I knew what the car was. He's like, and he, no, it was, it was cool. It was cool. He waved back though. I like that kind. It's my fellow spray wax buddy. How you doing? That's a cool hat. Yeah, cool hat. Alright, see ya. Dinner. Cheers. Well, boys, it is about time we see something nice. And this time, it's a Ferrari. Mr. Chuck Davis. Very nice. It's about time, isn't it? It is. We saw a Lambo and a Ferrari today. Friggin' right. Yeah, I can get her. Oh. Okay, bye. Cut through the trees. Did you bring your uh, axe? Oh, um, I wouldn't because it might be wet or something. So. Mm. All right, bye. What do you think? For the Trade the Impala? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. The Impala, Impala well, might sound better without the mufflers. Last time I was parked on the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, we see this car fairly often. I feel like I film it every time, but it's a Ferrari. You have to film a Ferrari. Yeah. Alright, noticing the front tires are 225s. 22535 on 19 inch wheels. Why are they? They're smaller than the front of the Impala tires. Now the back you said are 285, right? Yeah, that's right. That, that sounds right. Those are 10. That, one centimeter larger than mine, and it should be. But why are the fronts so skinny? Car hunt continues, obviously the Ferrari. We now have a E93 M3 in Silverstone. Right there. We'll go check it out. Okay, okay. Take a look at that, and I think that could be an RS6 or an S6 or something over there. There's the M3. Looking pretty nice. You wanna get out and walk around a second? Alright, upon further inspection, the E93 is a SMG or DCT, whatever they used in that. And this is an S4, it says Stasis on the back. Is that a tuning package? It's got those wheels on it, the wheels say Stasis. It's got huge exhaust tips that say Stasis. Actually looks really nice. Well, boys, I f***ed it up. I just put my keys in my trunk and then closed the trunk and the car is locked. You're a dumbass. So now Kenan and Razvan and I have to go back to my house to get my keys to come back and get in my car. You're a dumbass. So uh, we, I just dicked over the whole program here, but we're in the 525, so this, this looks like it's a rescue car tonight. <laughs> Car's back in the garage. It's 1.05 in the morning. Came home, got my spare key, went downtown, got the car back. Stupid mistake. I opened the trunk without unlocking the rest of the car. I just hit the trunk button on my remote. Um, I don't even. Oh, I was getting my phone charger from the back, and I set my keys down. 
to move stuff around. My pool stuff was still in there, so. And I closed the trunk, and once I dropped the trunk from two inches and it closed, I thought, the car is locked, the keys are in there, and there's no way to get in there. Central locking, I mean, I don't even know, how would cops get in here? You can't really, you can't get in a window seal here. And even if you did, you can't get the door thing because it disappears in the door and the center of locking and there would be a disaster. Good thing I have a spare key and I wasn't far away. So we did that, then we went back to Alex's house, hung out a while, Ken uh, came back there, that was really fun. Now we're back here and the car's going in tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Actually, Kenan's going to come down with me. He has an 11 to 11.50 class on Fridays. Alex, Razvan, and I are done. We don't have classes Friday. Kenan's going to come down with me at 9, probably hang out until 10, then we'll have to go to class. Then we're going to the pool. Alex or Razvan, hopefully Alex, and Kenan are coming to the pool. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. It's going to be another hot, humid day. So here are all of the car parts that are going to be installed tomorrow. Dropping the car off at 9. They'll probably have it till 3, 4. We'll go pick it up around 4.30-ish. Then I have a 6 o'clock in Hudson to have the uh, wheels aligned after all the suspension work is done. So it's going to be a busy day tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. I need to get to bed. It's only going to be good if I sleep. So we're letting all my pool stuff dry out here. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning en route to Dave Walter. Good night.